Yeah, here. Solar panels are one way to make electricity from the sun, but not the only way. Today we're in Nevada, right outside Las Vegas, and it is hot. Let's go find out how you use this heat from the sun to make electricity. Quick, before we melt. Our Renewable Nation, a cross-country eco-video adventure, is brought to you in part by Verenium, developers of cellulosic ethanol technology. Hi, Carrick. I'm Bob Cable. Hi, I'm Carrick. Nice to meet you. Uh, we're here at Nevada Solar One where we generate solar-powered electricity. Okay, the, the way this whole technology works is we have a, what's called a parabolic collector. And what this parabolic collector does, as you can see here, that whole surface area is concentrated onto that receiver tube, which we call the, the receiver tube down the focal point of the parabola. So what we're doing is we're concentrating the sun approximately 70 times from that whole area of the parabola to the small area of that receiver tube. So inside that receiver tube is a synthetic heat transfer fluid which we heat up to 750 degrees. That fluid then goes back to the power plant into heat exchangers and generate steam out of water, which in turn turns a steam turbine and a generator, which produces the electricity. So once we make the steam, what happens is the steam is very similar to what boiling water to make tea, for example, where the, where the steam starts coming out of the top of it once it starts boiling. Very similar to what we do. And then that steam that's coming out, it goes into a big steam turbine. Uh, which spins at a very high rate of speed. It turns at approximately 3,600 RPMs. And coupled to the turbine is a generator, which is, produces the electricity. A bunch of magnetic coils and winding wire, and all that creates uh, electricity. The collectors, as the sun moves throughout the day, the collectors will track the sun. Right now, for example, the collector is like this, and the sun's like here. As the sun moves, the collector is going to move with it. It just does that throughout the day. Other kinds of power plants, like coal, oil, and natural gas, are cheaper to build than concentrated solar power plants. But they are more expensive over time because they have to keep buying more fuel as they use it up to make electricity. Places like Nevada Solar One are more expensive to build, but the sunlight is the only fuel they need to make electricity, and it's free forever. I'm flying! It looks like it. Is it still able to make electricity on a day that's a little cloudy? Uh, yeah, for instance, if you look around today, there's clouds in the area. Over here, we've got clouds, and we're able to produce. But typically, uh, on an annual basis, we're making power on probably about 340 days a year, and if not more than that. So almost every day of the year, we're able to make some kind of power. When it's raining and it's fully clouded in, we're unable to produce power. So does this have to be built in the desert or can it just be built anywhere? Uh, the Southwest <laughs> United States is the best place in the United States for a plant like this, which mostly is desert. The desert is very good because it is the least cloudiest environment. Uh, that's why it's a desert, because it doesn't rain a lot, there's not a lot of clouds, but a, a big portion of the southwest United States fits that mold very well for this technology. Uh, and just to put it in some kind of perspective, uh, approximately 100 square miles of this technology would be enough electricity to power the, the entire United States. And so it's not a lot of desert is needed. To, to do that. Places like Nevada Solar One are a great example of how we can make fossil fuels history and how we can make the switch to renewable energy really happen. These technologies already exist. Let's get them built big time. 